Hey, what's up guys? Hopefully everything is fine in this pandemic. We have done an update of our product element pack. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you about our update element pack 5.0. And definitely you are going to see what you are getting from this update. So let's get started. Hey guys, I'm in template library as you can see here is a bunch of uh, template and you can easily import the template for your project and for importing the template you have to click on the import so before you have to make sure you have to go to dashboard to element pack to template library just click on the t import button and a pop-up will appear in front of you and see here is an enter template title you can give a name here or you can click on the import now see i'm clicking on the import now and it will take a little more time and look the masses successfully finally block 25 has been imported and click on the edit template and see the ready template is here or echo from here you can uh, change this template according to your design Okay guys, uh, there is another interesting thing, uh, live coffee options. And these options will allow you uh, the template from our demo phase. So before doing this, you have to make sure one thing that you have enabled live coffee options from our template. So, so to enable the coffee, live coffee options, uh, go to element pack to others. And see here is live coffee options if you disable you will not be able to get the services so you have to make sure you have enabled the live coffee options from here and one thing don't forget to uh, hit on the save settings when it is done back to our live website live face and right now click on the live coffee options and it will take you here from here see right uh, right side there is a button live coffee when you when you will click on the live coffee and it will coffee it it is done and come to your project come to your project a click right right button of your mouse and see here is a live paste and see the template i've copied before and that is the facilities you can take uh, easily using live coffee options Now let's know about uh, new widget added in this update. The first one is Honeycomb widget. And see here is a, a style. And here you, you will get a few more widgets like radius, large radius and zigzag. And I'm clicking on zigzag. And see the style. And when I'm hovering, it is showing descriptions. And you can manage it from just click on the first first com, combo one and see here is front and back mode from here you can set back content and front content and if you want to raise the honeycomb just you have to click on add item if you want to control icon title and descriptions you can easily control them just using the switcher button like i'm clicking on show icon and see the icon and now i'm unchecking the title see title will be disappeared similarly descriptions see there is no descriptions it's the flow our second new widget see here is icon type from from here you can add icon or image with the step flow now come to bad steps See here is badge step. Badge, badge text will allow you to the step number like step 1, step 2, step 3 and whatever. And there is another important thing, positions. From here you can set the badge position. Center, top left and like this. And if you want to set gap between each, 
each uh, each steps uh, you have to uh, take help of offset and from horizontal or vertically you can set offset easily using these options A rotate option is also available here that's it come back to if you want to uh, control the directions you can do that easily like i'm going to third one and this time i'm unchecking the show direction see direction option is height our third new widget is everest form since it is a third party plugin First, you have to make sure you have installed the plugin in our uh, element fact directory and to install the plugin you have to click on the install button since I have installed it before the uh, the button is not showing here and then you have to enable the plugin and later hit on the save settings button if you do this thing successfully then come back to come back to WordPress dash, dashboard to Everest form and from here you can add a new form like my form that I have created before hope you guys then you come to your project file see here I have here I have inserted Everest from widget and nothing is showing because you have to select from item from select from like I am selecting my from and see here is a from I have created before now come to letter part this time I'm going to show you uh, our newly added feature in our existed plugin like post grid see here is a screen and come to letter a light this screen was unable in our previous versions and I'm hitting on a light and see the new look of post grid. This is only because of a light skins. Now come to additional additional sections. See there is tag switcher button. If I'm click on tag switcher button, that's what enable. See here is tag. Here you can see tag. This is another newly added feature in post grid. Fancy card widget. And here is another new skin climax that was not available in our previous versions. I'm clicking on climax skin and see look has changed. And I'm clicking on the icon and see title, description, or even button is av available. Appear. Marker widget. And see here is tooltip. I'm clicking on the tooltip. There is tooltip switcher button. You can enable or disable. If you enable these tooltip settings, actually it was not available in our previous versions. And from here you can add uh, text or media content from your tooltip. Like I'm I'm inserting here an image from media library. And I'm resizing the image okay everything is done now I'm hitting on the preview button so that I can see the preview now come on preview button and hover your mouse see and that was actually missing in our previous version business hour visit our another popular visit you see the content you can hear it's not dynamic, it's static. But in this update, you can make this content dynamic. And there is another option, show header. I mean, enable this switcher button, see the header is here. As I'm telling, you can easily make it dynamic. And for that, go to style and select dynamic. See the masses and it is, it shows your content is dynamic. There is one more important thing, time zones. 
and you can set your time zone as your locations. Right now I'm in hover box and look, it's, uh, look uh, envelope skins. Uh, simple things is added in these versions. Go to style tab and see here is divider size. From here you can resize the divider as you as you are seeing and from here you can add the divider color you know about the device slider see animation sections these sections hold animation speed handlebar and using this handlebar you can uh, control the slide speed Come to circle menu and look at the toggle icon and see here is alignment left center or right but here is one conditions and it will only work with the default positions from this update of element pack you will be able to use model with user register or user login widget I come to skin and set model model just click on the register and see here is a model and look I'm in style tab I come to model with so that you can control the model uh, size like full container and custom I come to custom from where you can set custom value with model Come to advanced progress bar from this update you'll be able to show percentage with your progress bar and if you're not interested to show percentage to that you can use switcher button like show percentage and also you can set maximum value using the switcher button You are looking at member widget and look at image masking I click on the image masks I click on the drop down arrow and see here you will find a bunch of shape I am selecting shape 1 the fraction value may be uh, may be frustrated to you the from this update the frustration will remove from this update whether widget will not allow any uh, fraction value and it will uh, help you to uh, show round value a toggle widget a toggle actually works for hiding or showing content element pack version 5 point will allow you to uh, add a toggle with any widget here i'm showing how you can add uh, toggle with image gallery if you want to add toggle with image gallery first of all you have to set class ID or classes as I'm at ID my gallery now come back to toggle I come and see select source from select source you have to select widget selector CSS ID or class in widget selector field and there is another options widget visibility and using this handlebar you can uh, control the widget visibility See the preview. From gallery we see it. Before title was not linkable, but in this update you will be able to link the title. 
and using title link options. You see title is linkable but when I'm unchecking the title link options and check title is now is now showing unlinkable. See here I have inserted first gallery visit. So when you will come filter sections you will find show switcher button enabling the switcher button when i'm enabling switcher button you will find two, another another options such as has locations now enabling has location switcher button it is to say has location before it was built in but in from this version it uh, you'll be able to uh, do it optionals In addition here you can see two more things has been updated in these versions and also also some there was some issue that we have fixed in these versions that you can see on the screen and to get more idea you can visit our demo page so guys hopefully you are enjoyed this tutorial when we are going through a uh, pandemic situations hopefully the situation we will overcome soon Stay home, stay safe.